matter. Yes, it does matter. It does not matter. But the original AR-10 was piston driven. And on we're top not of that, talking about the original AR-10. Yeah, we're, we're talking, talking about, about AR-10. Top You don't want to crap where you the eat. The only reason That's you the like the original system. piston is because you like short stroke. That's some low hanging fruit. Top five AR-10 fight. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today. Alec here today. <laughs> With Classic Firearms, we've got yet another top five fight. If you haven't put it together yet, uh, this one's about AR-10s. And if you haven't seen our top five fights before, well, he's got a list of guns. I got a list of guns, five of them. And we are going to, well, figure out whose list is better. Well, you guys are going to figure out whose list is better. We're going to argue our points and so be it and so forth. Like I said, this is top five AR-10s. And I know I was crapping on like DI guns in the intro, yeah, but my number five is an arrow. It's an arrow. <laughs> it's an M5, which utilizes a direct impingement system. Fair enough. So I decided to go with arrow precision because for one, I had to have an affordable option on there. Mm -hmm. And when you start playing the AR-10 game, it's going to get expensive quick. Spicy. Real spicy. And arrow precision just makes a good gun. They work. I built this one out myself. I know we have like one rule. It can't be a build, right? You can't mm -hmm. build your own, right? That's the one rule. Okay, cool. Well, I built an M5. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, so there you have it. And I put some wood on yeah, it. And I put some, and I put some, some wood on it. But, and a lot of it. you always ask too, was like, oh, where'd you get the wood furnished from? Sharp Brothers. Sharp Bros. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so air precision, M5, bam, ballistic advantage, uh, barrel, and all that type of fun stuff. And yeah, there you go. Fine. I think mine's better. Okay, what's yours? Arrow M5. <laughs> I was gonna let you get through your spill and be like all the same points, but my M5 just copy paste. Not nah, for real. They, like, <laughs> I was like, like all right, number four. Yeah, like you said, the the M5s are nice, especially for the yeah. price that they're at. And you can buy complete M5 rifles. From yes, you can. Arrow. Um, you know, like you mentioned, everything once you start getting into the AR-10 game is very expensive. One. It's expensive and a little confusing at times because you've got yeah. different patterns. That's right. Um, you have a DPMS yeah. pattern, which is what this guy is here, nice and rounded, versus the Armalite pattern. And I was thinking I still had the Super Sass behind me and I was going to yeah. turn it off, which is actually more of an angled. It's all we're talking about here when I say curve versus angled is how the upper meets the lower receiver. Yeah. And that's really the biggest difference. There is no mil spec when it comes to AR-10, so it gets a little weird when you try to buy some accessories. That's why I decided when I built my arrow out here, like you see, I decided to go with a arrow upper, arrow lower, yeah. arrow rail. Keep it easy enough. Yeah. Also, I've seen some people kind of arguing down in the comment section saying that the, the, like the SR25 yeah. or the Mark 110 SAS are mil spec. Yeah. Those are not mil spec. Just because they're military guns does not mean that they're mil spec. There is no mil spec for AR-10. Fair enough. Sorry. There you go. So leave it at that. Uh, we both have the same five. So right now our list is looking uh, awkward. Right on par. So uh, <laughs> number four. Let's go. Number four is Quattro. Hopefully we're not the same this time. Yeah, it'd be really weird. What'd you pick? POF Revolution. Not the same, good. Okay, good. So <laughs> this one, so caveat, I have not shot this. Yeah. But I've shot other POF guns and hopefully get to shoot this one soon now that we've got it in here. But, so the reason I picked this one specifically, right? So it's AR-10, yep. but with Revolutionary Series, they've made it work with Wicked Dark Magic yeah. with semi AR-15 components, sized components, right? Yeah, which is pretty so, cool. Like the, like the yeah. bolt carrier group itself is like 5.56 five, sized, mm -hmm. uh, but the bolt face obviously is a little bit larger to accept yep. the 7.62, or in this case, the 6.5 six, five. Five. more yes. cartridge. So 6.5, great round. This is out of a 20 inch barrel with one eight twist, which is really nice. This ridiculously oversized charging handle. Yes. Um, another cool feature that actually Ryan was educating me on. So if you look into the trigger well right here, there's this little tab that I can push up on. So if I lift up on my finger, I can lock the bolt to the rear. That's which is actually really cool. Yeah, so this guy's completely ambi too. So I've got a bolt release on this side over yeah. here, ambi safety, and a really unusual trigger. trigger. Yeah, it is a match grade trigger. So I'll go ahead and show that off real quick so you guys can see it. So it has this flat step in the front, which I think could be really nice if I was sitting down and like shooting it on a bench rest or something like that. So. Literally no take up whatsoever. Yeah. So if I press it any harder, it's gonna go off. So slight right there and then break. Bink. Come on, little buddy. There we go. And then release. Yeah. So super nice on that guy. Again, really cool. This is a short stroke piston gun too, so you it's got the five position adjustable up front. Overall, very, very nice. I like it a lot. PUF makes cool stuff. They do. 
But like yeah, I said, I like to shoot. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Uh, but like I said, it is not what's number four on my list. My number four is actually the Daniel Defense five, the DD five yeah. V four. Okay. I knew it was going to be on your list. Yeah. I just didn't know where it would. Yeah, be. the DD five V four chambered also in six five Creed more. They make it in seven six two and six five. But I'll be honest with you guys, if I get the option to go six five, I'm probably going to go six five. Yeah, in that instance. Like yeah. normally, I would pick 308. I think, but for this gun specifically, yeah. I, I like the 65. Um, and I think in the DD5, I'd also get 65. Yeah. So Daniel Defense, when they first came out with the DD5, it had they had some issues with it. Mm -hmm. But again, if you find a quality manufacturer yeah. who comes out with it. a gun, they'll fix it, right? Mm -hmm. And they fix it. They do an adjust, adjustable gas block on it. I think the early ones came with like a uh, Geisley trigger. I think mm -hmm. they added their own now, which is still a phenomenal. Uh, match trigger and that as well. Again, I'm always a big fan of how their rails lock up to the upper receivers, yep. M-lock and all that type of stuff, and they're just quality guns. Not cheap by any means, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I, I, you guys already know, I love me some Daniel Defense. Yeah, that's and, fair point. And it just works. Now granted, I don't think the DD5 offers as many features as this guy does, yep. but also too, there's also another huge difference is this is utilizing a short stroke mm -hmm. piston driven system. Uh, which is a interesting system how they yeah, have operating odd. in here. It is odd and it looks cool because at first I'm like, is it though? Because that looks like yeah. we took a, a DI. We actually tube. took it apart and looked at it. And I was yeah. like, because like, that yeah, because it looks like, like a gas tube. Yeah. But no, that is there's no hole yeah. in that tube. That's that an so, rod, but uh, which is weird. pretty cool. And uh, well, anyway, so the DD5 uses a direct impingement uh, system. So we all know that as being a little bit more AR15 ish. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway. So yeah, the DD5 is my number four, and of course we're gonna have to let that be up to you guys about what you think is better for our number four. Now let's go ahead and roll into our number three. Number three. Trace. What you Rapid got? engagement precision rifle. The LWRCI Mark II. I'm actually surprised it's not higher on your list. Yeah, well, I got some other things coming up, That's don't worry. Fair. So okay. the LWRCI Mark II, 6.5 Creedmoor Elite. Okay. That rifle is sweet. Now they also make a uh, side charger. I would say, model, yeah, they have the side charger, right? Which, yeah, which I honestly think would be pretty sweet too. Yeah. But the LWRCI Reaper, first of all, it's just a cool freaking name. And secondly, I remember seeing it for the first time at a local gun shop, actually, mm -hmm. the Mark One, the original yeah. one, and like falling in love with it there. Yeah. I saw the spiral fluted barrel and I was like, oh, this thing's freaking cool. Yeah. Uh, and then they came out with the Mark II, which mm -hmm. just improved upon the Mark One. And talking with LWRCI at uh, SHOT Show and RA and meet, stuff like mm -hmm. that, of course, about the SMG 45 and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I just fell even more in love with the Reaper. Yeah. We've given one away. That's good just, marketing. Dude, to come up with a name like that, like not only does it make sense from yeah. like an acronym standpoint, but yeah. like Reaper, that's like yeah. pretty sick. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's not like freaking Grasshopper Mouse or whatever. <laughs> You like just I'm still pooty about that. You just like dude. poking them, don't you? <laughs> they're, they're just different, dude. <laughs> it's like going to the zoo and looking at the animals when you're a kid. The grasshopper like, mouse? Yeah. Yeah. But poke it through the cage. <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with what Alex's talking about, just making fun of the B and T fanboys. But uh, anyway, uh, so that Mark II Reaper is my number three. Fair point. Yeah. Mine, Springfield Saint Victor in mm. three weeks. So that's a solid choice. For the price and everything you get, yeah. that makes sense, but the Reaper totally kicks its butt. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm not gonna lie though. The Re I, I mean, it kicks, uh, it also kicks its butt in price by a lot. Yeah, I'd say it's literally almost three times as expensive. So, I mean, there's that. But if I didn't have to pay for it, I'd go for it. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? So with the price point that the Victor's at, right? Yeah. Like one would think that it would have been lower on my list because it had yeah. the M5. Right. However, I mean, if we're gonna be completely honest here, the Victor would walk circles around M5. Yeah. For the price point that it's at. Yeah. yeah. But I, I can agree. I think, it really, I think the Victor and any of the Springfield rifles in that lineup really punch above their weight class as far as like price points concerned. Yeah. Like you get free float barrel, like all, all the fixings, yeah. we'll just say, like all the stuff that you would expect at a higher price point rifle in a relatively medium price. Yeah, mid, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Mid -range, like yeah. you can find them. MSRP below twelve ninety nine. Yeah. So like that's pretty clutch, dude. And the guys there, like obviously Springfield Armory's been around like, literally five ever. Yeah. Um. So they put a ton of quality into their work. They shoot great. Yeah. Um. I feel like you and I just kind of like reversed almost because you had the POF and I had the DD. Mm -hmm. And then now I've got the LWRCI and you've got the same. Yeah. And so I'm like, because now mine is also the LWRCI is also. Piston driven, the the Saint Saints. Di. Yeah. So yeah, you and I just kind of yeah. swapped roles here on that one. But anyway, we'll just have to leave that one up again to you guys down in the comments section. 
I obviously believe that my pick is superior. However, whatever. That right. price is spicy. Also, if you're listening to us talk and you have no idea what the difference is between impingement or... Oh, or yeah, piston, piston. driven. We yeah. totally have a video out on we that. We do. I think we got several videos <laughs> yes, covering, I would say covering the quite operating a few. system. Yeah. But if you missed all of them, they're out there. <laughs> they're just class of firearms, gas. Yeah, well, no. Class of firearms, DI. Yeah, DI piston, versus gas. DI or piston. Well, piston versus and you DI. have a video of, yeah. or a picture of Clint like, is piston driven really the best? That's what your face looks like. But this is not a piston. It's, but it's just for it's for the effect. Number two. Number two. Number two. Dose. Rolling into that. What'd you pick? Reaper Mark II. <laughs> Reaper in 308. In 308. Just to yeah, it just up. to be different. Okay. We'll for see. all the aforementioned. Well, six five. Look, better, man. Like the AR10 list is kind of small. So okay. Like there's only so many. <laughs> there's there's a few out there, right? I had the DD5 few. earlier on my list, and I flipped it out too because you said it. So I'm I'm I won't take the L here. I'm yeah. saying Mark II, Reaper Mark II, in 308. HKMR762. My number two. Can't go wrong with that. Like to see you try to beat it. LWRCI is great. And it's an AR-10 because we make the rules. But it's, but it's the HK MR762. That right there. I already know HK is just going to win, right? Yeah. A lot of you guys are saying, well, Clint, you're wrong because it's not number one. Well, you just have to wait to see what number one is. But the HK MR762 versus the LWRCI Reaper Mark II, which in three again, weight. in three weight, so both of them 7.62 guns, yep. both of them piston driven guns, mm -hmm. both of them made by super reputable manufacturers, yes. both of them I love I'm not and can't afford. Yeah, but, well, well yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I, I think only the only reason the Mark II would beat out the MR 7.62 is the price. It is about Almost half the price. <laughs> well, yeah, well, and I was yeah. gonna say, I think honestly, me personally, I would rather have the Reaper Mark II because it's fully Ambi. Yeah. The MR762 is not. It doesn't have an Ambi board release. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Are you sure? Pretty I'm trying sure. to think. The two that we've given away. Pretty sure. The two that we've given away that I've shot, it's nothing I typically pay attention to. Ryan, Google it. No, I think I What's I, the answer? He's Googling it. Yeah, I think. It's something I don't typically pay attention to because I'm just running and gunning, having fun, whatever. Because you're wrong-handed. And I am Wait. literally right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fair point. <laughs> it is not Ambi. Ha! Okay, so it's not Ambi. All right. Do it. Okay, so, all right, fine. Okay. Oh, all right, so, you know what, but it's HK! I need to say no more. Number ones, let's go. So for our number one pick. Numero uno. You know how in the beginning, I came out like for the intro and I was like, you know, the original AR-10 piston driven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, my number one does not reflect that. <laughs> my okay. number one pick, Knight's Armament SR-25. The true AR-10. The M110. The SR-25 is legendary. This thing is counter-terrorism at afar to the max and I absolutely love it. I love the way it feels, love the way it shoots and I want one so bad. Definitely can't afford one. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, if it's on the company card and we offer it as a giveaway, it's my excuse to shoot one. <laughs> What's your number one? Mark 110. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying Mark? It's M110. No, it's the Mark 110. No, it's MK. M MK is, you're, whatever. You're a, you're, no, you're a Marine. It's MK is Navy designation. M, blah, 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 blah. Uh, M is Army. M110. SAS rifle. M110 SAS. Okay, fine. I'm cool with that. Semi-auto sniper, sniper system. system. SAS. SAS. It's got. It's full of SAS. So, well, and it's nice too because the SAS comes in a deployment kit. Yeah. 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 So you get multiple. Or I don't know if the SR twenty five does come in a deployment. They might make it in well, a deployment kit, but it doesn't come standard. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, it depends because not everybody's gonna want all the gadgets and gas and gizmos and gadgets and whatever I tried to say right there. I tried so hard. Yeah. Um, uh, not everybody's gonna want that. all of the accessories that come That's in a point. deployment. Some people the, are gonna be the like, deployment hey, package. It, it's ball slaps. Yeah, so, slaps your mama. Yeah, maybe we should find one of those for a giveaway. If you got one available, yeah, let us know. Yeah, uh, we love. We just want to give away like ten grand <laughs> or more. We have so. Yeah. so yeah. What's another giveaway? You know, yeah. it's it's yeah, fine. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so our number fives and number ones were the same, basically. All right. I'm not mad at it. You know, I mean, it's like I said, you, you get, like, when you're picking out these top fives, it's not like AR-15s, right? Like, like literally yeah. everyone and their cousin that has, like, 
an 07 FFL makes interference. Yeah. And you, you know, know what I'm saying? And you know what's kind of funny too, though? Is I think you and I, I'm not going to say we have bias, but we see the same stuff come in. So yeah. it's going to be what's on our mind. Yeah. If we ask the guy next door what his top five AR-15 manufacturers or makes or AR-10s, yeah. whatever they might be, we might have something completely different. And we're like, dang. Because that's what happens all the yeah. time here. Is like, these are the rifles I see all the time. That's what's mm -hmm. on top of my mind. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I need to I need to go back and, and be like, Well, it's hard to, list. you know, flexing yeah. on all the pores. I mean, really, if you just get like $10,000 rifles in every day. <laughs> My my standard of rifles has gone up significantly to, to levels that my credit card just like is squeamish at. It's like, <laughs> oh God. As I get it closer to the credit card machine, I'm like, God, please work. And your wife gets closer to divorce? Yeah. So <laughs> her just hand scoots closer to the paper. Ugh, it's a rough life, man. Not but no, good. seriously, not I mean, yeah, not 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 there we go. But oh, like, for God. real. So, and, and what I hate too is there's always guns that we forget, right? Always. Like, that's why we need you guys to sound off in the comment section. Because I know there's going to be a gun that I forgot. We talked about one earlier. It was the, uh, well, the was Savage. Like, yeah, the Savage MSR-10. Yeah, yes, the Sarge that's Sarge. also a fantastic that's a great one. gun. Yeah. The Sig uh, 716i. In AR, the AR oh, now they now they also make the M400 Tread in, in 762. Yep. So in I mean, those are two that I just thought of off the top of my head. So I know there's more that we're forgetting. Whoops. <laughs> Stag makes a great AR10. Yes, they do. God, if I didn't, I, I kind of want to change my number five now. Can't. Stag. Oh, well, too bad. Okay. I'm keeping mine at arrow precision anyway. Fine. You know, bias. I have one. And that's one that I built. One. So there it is. Anyway, all right. So that's our list. So yes, down in the comment section, we'll see you guys talking all about your top five AR-10s. Whose list do you align with more? And uh, I like some of you guys down there. I wish I could remember your YouTube handle, handle now so I could call you out. Uh, because you did, or, you know, actually throw creds at, or, what's the word I'm looking for? Props? Give props too. Yeah, give props too. There we go. Uh, anyway, because you actually say, you list out one, two, three, four, five. And, who, and he lists, I agree with Alec on number one, Clinton on number mm -hmm. two, Clinton number three, Alec on number four, Alec on number five, Alec wins. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, okay, that's that's actually pretty cool. You don't have to agree yeah. with the whole list, just agree with certain parts. Yeah. All right, Fair cool, point. sweet. All right, sweet. There's okay. also people in the comment section that say you look like my son. So, <laughs> the comment section is a weird place sometimes. Sometimes it's pretty legit though. So yeah, the comment section is a weird place because apparently I'm Ben's kid. I'm married to Katie. Katie is also Ben's kid. So I don't know what y'all thinking this is, yeah. but it, you ain't right. Yeah. And Weird. I'm not married to Katie. And I'm definitely not Alex's son. That, but that, how, how would that relate me and Ben? Nope. Uh, oh. In the video. Uncles? Giveaway. Uh, I don't know. So anyway, giveaway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giveaway yeah. time. Giveaway time. The SciTac CT10. This is a cool gun. Only reason it really wasn't on my list, I just didn't have I don't have a whole lot of experience with this gun per se. Mm -hmm. The other ones I can say I have shot you yeah. know, quite a bit, it, except for the, the, the SR-25, but yes, it's, it's the SR-25. So. Yeah. Anyway, the SciTac CT-10 is super cool. This guy is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It is our current giveaway with the Accutec bipod. It doesn't come with a muzzle device, but we added one for your shooting pleasure. <laughs> this is the two-chamber break by Surefire that is also their QD host for their suppressor. Sweet. Sweet. M-Lock rail on it. We got the Trigicon Creedu 2 to 10 and also the Swamp Fox Independence Mount. Awesome mount. I like it. Lightweight. Works well. And it comes with a 10 round mag. We doing a Lancer 20 round. And uh, whenever I bring out my AR-10 with mm -hmm. the, if I have a Lancer in it, yeah. I had the 25 round in it today. People are like, oh my God, he's got the magazine in there backwards. How many times I've gotten that in the comment section? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that, but it's not. Lancer right. works on dark magic. So. It does. Uh, also, too, you got a Timney trigger on here, which is like a one and a half, three pound trigger. It's fantastic. B5 Systems Furniture. Can't go wrong with that. Nope. It's pretty sweet. It's shy tech Same guys that, you know, make the M200 intervention. The same guys that won't send me one. Yeah, so. <laughs> Calling you out, dog. <laughs> Every chance I get. I'm watching. But you're not watching me. ClassicFirearms.com is where you can get your entries. Utilize the code word CT10, or code abbreviation, code prefix, and the CT10 is how to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. Refer your friends and family for like 900 entries, and I think that's about it. So, yeah. And of course, we'll see you guys down in the comment section about whose list you like more, or at least which one through five you like more. We'll put yeah. it that way. All right, guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.